was it John Singleton that brought you on for Remember the Time? Yeah, a few years later after the movie and the, the movie was a hit and he cold calls me and is looking for a choreographer for a music video and he's telling me about the treatment and everybody that's going to be in it. And I'm like, wow, this sounds great. Yes, I would love to do it. And then before we got off the phone, I said, wait, wait, who's the artist? And he said, Michael Jackson. And I'm like, okay, great. <laughs> I was 21 at the time. Michael and I share the same birthday. We, I was so in love with Michael Jackson when I was younger. I had posters on my wall that felt like Michael Jackson wallpaper. I was um, really, really uh, a super fan. When I got the call, I was um, super excited, but also really um, understanding like the turning point that this would be in my life. Because I was still kind of doing hair during the day, which allowed me to really just go. I had gone on um, dance for like Big Daddy Kane uh, on tour. And, but um, this was like really serious for me. And it also I had worked, I had never worked with so many dancers. And um, so for, for me, this was, um, it was amazing. And with all choreography for me, it starts with the music. And so once I got the music and understanding the concept of the Egyptian video, then, you know, that's when you start to study and kind of create the moves. I just listen to it, just listen to it and go. A lot of times I don't even pre-plan. I like to just do it in the room um, with the bodies, you know, it's really just the music moves you in a certain way. I didn't meet Michael until we were in the studio working. It was really nice because Michael put a lot of trust in John of who he was bringing to the table. And it was, you know, he was um, so used to working with Vince Patterson and Michael Peters and people that I respected and loved their choreography so much. So to come in and do a video like this, um, I knew was big for me, but also big for hip hop because um, Michael was very curious about this new style of dance that was bubbling in the clubs and starting to show up in places. I mean, we wanted to, um, to kind of show the Egyptian hieroglyphics and the vibe of what you would see, you know, in Egypt during that time. So we kind of mix that in with a little bit of popping and locking and hip hop. So it just kind of came out like that. He doesn't like to count. He rather you mimic the beat instead of counting. So it's a very like more organic way and you hear the song. So it's more like, mm, ah, mm. You know, instead of one and two and three, you know, instead of counting, which is lovely. And he loves uh, the music to be really loud. So he brings in extra speakers and because he wants to feel it in his chest when he dances. <laughs>